universities in germany are filled with a lot of history innovation and really really amazing personalities from beethoven to einstein and from the aspirin to the diesel engine germany lives up to its title the land of ideas and this was the main reason i started the short stories on facts about various german universities but a small 1 minute video doesn't do justice to any of these universities that's why i'm expanding this short series into a larger video format so that i can tell you more about these universities and for the first episode just like our short story we start with the most famous university in germany technical university of munich or tum Unlike universities in Heidelberg or Leipzig, TUM is not that old. It was established in 1868 by King Ludwig II of Bavaria as the Polytechnische Schule München. At that time, it only had six departments, 350 students, and two dozen professors and lecturers. It was nine years later that it was renamed to TH München. In 1901, it finally got the right to award doctorates, and it was averaging around 2,700 students. becoming the largest german university at the time beating th berlin now here's a crazy fact about bavaria in 1905 the bavarian government finally allowed women to join a technical university in the german empire the first female student enrolled in architecture in 1905 and anna boitzen became the first female engineering student in 1906 the female student proportions were still very low just 0.6% in the winter semester of 1930 the 20th century wasn't a great time for tum they had to go through world war 1 the november revolution which marked the downfall of the second reich hitler's failed coup attempt or better known as the beer hall putsch in 1923 the rise of adolf hitler and the subsequent world war 2 that's not a good list of events in the 1920s the nationalist socialist ideology started threatening jewish students and professors and also those who opposed such ideas Jewish students eventually lost their rights and were banned from enrolling in 1938. Under Hitler's rule, TH München contributed towards research for the Nazi regime and were deeply involved in the crimes committed. After the war, 80% of the university buildings were destroyed and even under such conditions teachings resumed in april 1946 due to the severe damage the department of economics was actually surrendered to the ludwig maximilian university in 1946 however just like west germany th munchen also began its rapid development in 1956 the construction of a research reactor in garching and numerous new departments mark the beginning of the Garching campus today it is TUM's largest campus in 1972 Zentrale Hochschule Sportanlage a 45 hectare sports center was built on the grounds of the 1972 Summer Olympics till date it is the largest sports facility in Germany and after almost 100 years of its founding in 1970 TH München became TUM. Today they have campuses in seven locations including one in Singapore where TUM Asia was founded in 2001 in collaboration with NTU and NUS. It was the first time that a German university had set a campus abroad. I just skimmed through the history for the sake of this video but you can go to the university's website or the Wikipedia page to learn about this in more detail. TUM wasn't the best university when it was established, but they worked their way up brick by brick and eventually became one of the best universities not just in Germany but also in the world. As of 2022, the Technical University of Munich is organized into eight schools and multiple departments in four locations: Munich, Gushing, Freising Way in Stefan and Straubing. The largest department is the TUM School of Computation, Information and Technology, which has more than 14,600 students, out of which 53% are international students. As of winter semester 22-23, 
50,467 students are studying at TOM, out of which 36% are female students and 41% are international students. And in ranking, TOM crushes the competition. Across all major rankings, TOM ranks number one, except for ARW, where it loses to Heidelberg for second position. TOM has been the best university in Germany, for a really long time. But a university is also about the students who learn and the professors who teach because without them, the university is just a bunch of buildings. UM has a total of 80 Nobel Prize winners, including Hans Fischer in chemistry in 1930 for constitution and synthesis of hamine and chlorophyll, Ernst Ruska in physics in 1986 for electron optics and the design of the first electron microscope, Wolfgang Ketteler in 2001 for discovering a new state of matter, a quantum gas. The university is also home to some groundbreaking inventions, which we still use. Carl von Linder, a lecturer at Teha München, who developed the first viable ammonia refrigerator in 1875. His invention led to the creation of our modern refrigerator and still shapes our everyday life. Today's ships, heavy vehicles and generators all have one thing in common, a diesel engine. It was designed by Rudolf Diesel, a student at TUM, and his creation literally drives the world. Ursula Schmidt Tindemann established a department for plastic surgery at TUM in 1958, the first of its kind in Germany. After that, doctors from all over Germany came to Munich to be trained by her. In 2004, NASA found water on Mars's rocks from its Spirit and Opportunity space missions. An essential tool in this discovery was the Mosebauer spectrometer named after the Munich physicist Rudolf Mosebauer. Age only 32 in 1967, he also was awarded a Nobel Prize for this discovery. And Emil Erlenmeyer, a well-known chemist and a professor at Teha Munich, known for the Erlenmeyer flask or the titration flask, which a lot of engineers are still afraid of. To summarize everything, Polytechnische Schule München has come a long way since its founding to become the technical university of Munich. This video is a little different than the ones we do on the channel, but it is a story worth listening to. So if you liked it, please share it with your friends. And if you and if you want to study in Germany, I have linked a lot of resources in the description below. You can check them out. This was just the first episode and I'll be back with another German university. Take care.